Hello everyone, welcome to watching SuperKit for Arduino experiment video tutorial. Before we begin to do experiments with SuperKit for Arduino, let's get to know the components in this kit. Let's open the box. You can see a CD and a laboratory manual. These are jumper wells used to collect the circuits. This is USB data cable used to download applications. This is a pack of resistors used to resist the flow of electric current. The colored strips on the sets of resistors indicate their value. Next, I will teach you how to identify the resistance of a resistor by color code. We take a 5 bond resistor for example. To distinguish left from right, there is a gap between the 4th and 5th bonds. The bump 5 indicates tolerance of value in percent. It's brown, indicating the tolerance of the resistor is 1%. The first, second, and third bounds represent the top three significant figures of component value. The fourth bound is the decimal multiplier. For example, the top three color bounds of this resistor are red, red, and black. Corresponding to digits 2, 2, 0. The first bound is black, corresponding to multiplier 1. So, the resistance of the resistor is that 220 multiplied by 1. That's 220 ohms. Of course, if you don't believe what you have read, the most reliable method is to measure it with a multimeter. Now, I will give you a demonstration. We can see that the multimeter reading is 220 ohms. This is a potentiometer with a full scale of 50 kO. You can adjust its resistance by rotating the handle in the middle. These are ceramic capacitors used to store and release electric energy. The standard unit of capacitance is called the farad, which is abbreviated as it turns out that a farad is a lot of capacitance. Even 0.001F is a big capacitor. Usually, you will see capacitors treated in the picker to microfarad range. These are 104 ceramic capacitors. 104 means the capacitance is 10 multiplied by 10 to the fourth power Tf. That's 0.1 Uf. Similarly, 103 means the capacitance is 10 multiplied by 10 to the 3rd power Tf. That's 0.01 Uf. These are push buttons. Normally, the adjacent pins are interconnected mechanically, and the opposite pins are disconnected. If you press the button, the opposite pins are collected. These are dealt. The model we use here is 1M4007. The black hand is anode and the white hand is cathode. If the current flows through the dial from anode to cathode, this is called forward direction. The dial will conduct, otherwise the dial will be off. No current can flow. This is a selective switch with three pins. When you rotate the handle to left, the left two pins will conduct. When you rotate the handle to right, the right two pins will conduct. These two are small power NPN type transistor. Its model is S8050. These two are small power PNP type transistor. Its model is S8550. This is an active buzzer. The longer pin is positive power and the short pin is negative power. It can make sounds after power on. These are light emitting diodes, called LED for short. The longer pin is allowed, and the short pin is cathode. This is 8 multiplied by 8 door matrix. 
We can use it to display figures and characters. This is a rotary encoder module. It's a kind of electronic component with a set of regular and strict timing pulses. It can achieve the function of increasing, decreasing, and pitch tolling by using with assay. For example, tolling pitch by mouse. These two are seven segment displays. They are entirely composed of eight LEDs in certain terms. It's generally used to display figures and characters. These two white components are 4N35 photocopiers. Each photocopier contains a gallium oxalate infrared magnetic belt, which is used to drive silicon photoelectric transistor. It uses 6 pin duly line package. This is ADXL335. It's a small, thin, low power, complete 3 axis accelerometer with signal conditioned voltage outputs. It can measure the static acceleration of gravity in tilt sensing application, as well as the dynamic acceleration resulting from motion, shock, or vibration. These two are 74XC595 chips. It's an 8 bit 0 in 0 volt parallel out shift register with output matrix 3 state. This is L2 line 3D chip. It's a kind of high voltage, low current motor drive chip manufactured by ST. It can drive two DC models at the same time. This is NE555 chip, and it can be used to generate time based signals. This is 1602 liquid crystal display. It's an industry character type LCD, which can display 16 multiplied by 2. That's 32 characters at the same time. This is a DC model. It can rotate after power on. This is breadboard. All of our subsequent experiment circuits will be built on the breadboard. This is our own Samsung UNO R3 board. And this is Arduino UNO R3 board. Their appearance and the layouts are the same, and the components used on the board are also the same. So they are completely compatible. In addition, we manufactured our own Nano board and Mega 2560 board. All of our subsequent experiments are conducted on Samsung UNO R3 board, but it is also compatible with the two boards Nano and Mega 2560. That's all for this lesson. Please continue to pay attention to our future tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.